little set shower on. seems a while since we've uh, last been here and I just want to say how fabulously thrill it's brilliant to be able to see everybody today and have everybody come to, uh, to the site and uh, support all the fantastic charities uh, with the money that we will earn today. So welcome everybody and it's, uh, it's great to see you. We've got a, uh, a naming ceremony today um, for a very, um, very close friend of mine back in uh, 1995, uh, Max Jewell was charged with um, creating a new railway company. Uh, and I don't know if any of you know this, but DRS was the first company to receive a license after railway privatization in 1993. And it was Max's drive, character, and, uh, and kind of tenacity that really, uh, that really made, there was part of, uh, of DRS being born, um, and uh, he was a, uh, he was he was certainly sadly missed when he uh, when he tragically died. Um, so we're here to rename uh, Max's locomotive. Uh, we uh, we originally had a Class 20 locomotive that uh, that was named the Max Jewel, and uh, and as you know, the the heritage fleet are uh, are going to be leaving us. As we uh, as we move to a uh, a newer and greener and uh, technologically advanced fleet of locomotives, uh, and so it's only right that we carry on Max's name uh, as we uh, as we move forward. So uh, I just want to hand over to our chair, Vanda, who will say a couple of words, and then we'll get on with the uh, the naming ceremony. Well, I hope you're really enjoying today. This is fantastic weather. So I'm Vanda Goldberg, I'm chair of. Transport Company and DRS is part of us and we are very very proud to have these wonderful trains that you're seeing today and I hope you're all getting on to see the locomotives and um, having a great time. 
but there's a very serious point to this. What we do is very, very important. Um, as you know, we carry other goods as well, but we also carry nuclear waste. And if we're going to have a carbon zero world, one of the things we need to do is to resolve the issue of what to do with nuclear waste. And these trains carry that waste very, very safely through the United Kingdom. And I'm very proud to be part of that process. And I'm even more pleased that the Chief Exec of the Nuclear Decommissioning Authority is here with us today to do the act of actually pulling the curtain. So if anyone wants to take a picture, this is a good moment. I'm a part of David meeting, and he's going to do the effort to do the bit. Fantastic. And Chris, Manda, thank you very much. So without any further ado, it's a great pleasure and a great honor to unveil this uh, name, this locomotive, and to name it after our good colleague, Max Jewell. There we are. The diesel is what we like to call the last mile solution. Uh, to get in here, no wires, we use the diesel to get in here. If we're driving along and we've got a railhead such as a Tesco's or a Sainsbury's, anything like that, um, when we come off the wires, because obviously you can't have wires where they're containers, um, we'll put the diesel engine on then. It is not designed to take you from London to Glasgow. It's not that kind of thing. It's designed to take you the last mile or two. How far would it take you? If you depends really on what depends on what you're doing. Uh, on a long intermodal service, it would probably pull it for a good 20 to 30 miles. But then, it's yellow button, young man, somewhere in this cab, press it. Come on, the pressure's on. Big yellow button. Yeah. TCWS and AWS operational. Right. If it's totally devoid of air, I have to start the diesel engine to build the air up to put the panograph up. Um, but apart from that, crack on. That's really, see, I mean, there's a whole process that takes about 15 minutes, but we haven't got the time to explain it. But yeah, so I'm now ready to go, crack on, you give me a signal, whoosh, off we go. Which one's the power? Right, this one's the power here in notches, okay? So that one there, I've got there. It's also got a blended brake, so you use 70% of uh, its uh, heat goes uh, goes out, so you lose 70% of the energy. What's the difference though? In Oh, the brakes. Well, that will only apply the brakes on the loco. Um, so if you've got 2,000 tons pushing you down a hill, it ain't going to help. That one will apply the brakes on everything. That that puts a hole in all the brakes. That one only puts a hole in the brakes on the train. And that, that one, again, will only apply the brakes on the loco. But if you need to trim five miles an hour off a, like a 20 mile an hour speed, everything, like, it'll, it'll do it. You just trim it. Used to see is at the sun. Well, this, this is, this is American yeah. from the stand, yeah. so yeah. these were just derived from the SD39. They put what the way American engineers drive trains. Right. I'm used to having everything in the front of me. Yeah, yeah. Um, the seat feels really like that. You can probably hire it. Yeah, yeah. 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 And the AWS for you. Because obviously I'm quite a short guy, so it doesn't really affect me. It's cleaner than expected. Yeah. yeah, so more or less, yes. as soon as you see railway, the money goes up, you know, yeah. 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 Um, These are all access covers, so you can access the engine to do different jobs and maintenance and tap and all right. things. Here is your header tank, your coolant. You feel like that's even warmer than that. It's still a hot from earlier. Oh, it's, it's warmer than that. Warmer than that, yeah. It's warmer than that from yesterday, yeah. Right, yeah. Here's your water yeah. pumps, two water pumps. Yeah, these things never cool down properly. No, no. Oil pumps underneath. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. You can't send them there, but there's your bag out of the door. They draw air in and they go through the fans. Yeah. I'll show you, they're not going to fan if you want. Below your camera line.
secret thing though, look. Mm. Oh, that lamb right there. Yeah, just wait till they finish us off. Oh, sorry. I'm <laughs> ready. I'm ready. I mean, I could, I could wait an hour with this. Not that there'd be much there, but it's better than the uh, getting on the one night five. I'm putting up with that shit. Me and Ali would have to do something. Have you beaten on it?